Hey guys, Chris Burdick here from Weber International University with Lacrosse Nuggets. A couple ideas for you on your highlight films. A um, couple of rules to think of here as you go through building a highlight film. The first, when you use iMovie, you can actually use the iMovie crop button to actually uh, increase the, um, the zoom so that you can get a little closer if you have video where you're kind of zoomed out. So the first uh, option is to use iMovie to, uh, to build your video, and that'll help you with zooming problems if you have them. Um, in terms of what your content should be. A lot of times what kids do is they'll put their content on their video from the, this, like their, their earlier years as they move forward and get older. So it's almost like a chronological look at your, your play. Uh, I would advise to actually do uh, something different. I would advise you uh, that the first thing on your video should be the best thing you've ever done on a lacrosse field. That should be the first video clip that coaches see so that when they turn on the video and they click on it, they see what your, your best moment is. And then I would sequentially put the better items that you have earlier in the video. Three, I would make sure that your video doesn't last more than say, um, you know, a minute and a half. I mean, that's, that's about all coach needs is a minute and a half worth of clips. Keep it nice and short so coaches can watch the whole thing. A lot of times coaches will tune out around 40 seconds in if the first three or four clips aren't what they want to see. Make sure you put your number up front uh, when you do your intro. Uh, you want to kind of keep your intro very short. Make it just your name, your graduation year, maybe your GPA, your high school. Um, and your club team so we can identify who you are. You want that information up front. You can put your, um, your email and your contact info later. Where do I post my film? Post your film on YouTube. Everybody can get YouTube videos and it's very easy to upload for free to YouTube. So start your own YouTube page and, and upload your video to YouTube. Take down any videos of you from, that are older, anything from you in your freshman year that may be up there that if your name search goes into Google, uh, your name in lacrosse and that video may come up. You don't want coaches looking at older video of you. You want your most recent video to be the only video that they see. So go back in, set those videos to private. Music. Be smart about the music you put on. Uh, fun to have good music on your highlight video, and you want to make sure whatever music you put on is kind of a neutral uh, type of soundtrack that is uh, obviously not going to have any type of profanity in it um, and also shows that you're smart and you realize that the person that's watching the film is a representative of the university. Goalies. Um, identify who you are in the beginning of the eclipse, maybe put a circle on you on the first one, but we don't need you to identify yourself with some type of a highlight or a circle or arrow or what have you, um, because we know that you're the goalie. So, it, you know, saves you time and it saves us time. <laughs> Defenseman, we'd love to see your film of you handling the ball. It's, it's uh, definitely want to see how you handle uh, decisions you make. If you can use both hands, we'd like to see you get the ball off the turf. Make sure that you add in your video uh, clips of you playing on the ball and playing defense and maybe even playing some team defense. doesn't have to necessarily be you hitting someone or making contact and knocking someone to the ground, but moving your feet, covering, pushing guys away from the front of the cage, sitting down on the corner and, and, and defending. Um, if you have any video of you getting out and hunting and, and showing you moving in space, that's also important too. But. Do not change the speed of your video. Uh, we want to see what your actual speed is, and we don't want to see anything in slow motion, and we don't want to see anything that's in a, a, an accelerated pace that tries to maybe uh, influence or intimate to the coach that you might be faster than you really are. Do not rewind things. Do not run something back for us. We have the ability to rewind something that we want to see. Again, it'll slow down the process and it'll make coaches want to get out of your film and move on to what they have to do next. At the end, it's okay at that point to put in contact info for your coaches, to put in your own personal contact info. Um, that's a whole nother conversation. Here's a, a big nugget. When you get started in the recruiting process, 
uh, process as a freshman, create a recruiting email. You can create a, an additional phone line number uh, through apps online and help you uh, when you do get out of the cycle of recruiting to not have to continue to field phone calls and uh, also emails. So those are the tidbits for today. Your, your lacrosse nuggets from Coach B here at Weber uh, on recruiting video, and I hope it uh, helps. And um, we will hope to bring more information to you real soon.